Hey, how are you doing? I'm Martin. And I'm Yvette. And welcome to Amsterdam Clock Vlog. Your local's guide to the city. This episode is all about Amsterdam Light Festival. But before we start, please remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram and Facebook. The city is ready. So let's go! Around the turning of the year, when daylight gets scarce, Amsterdam is getting its warm beacons of light. Since 2012, every year a different route is set out in the city connecting the light installations, transforming this Venice of the North into a magical wonderland around the festive season. During the 50 plus days, the festival attracts short of a million spectators every year. When the twilight starts, the installations come to life and stay lit till 11 pm. We like to visit the festival every year, sometimes by boat and sometimes by bike. What we like is the times you cycle through the city in the evening and stumble upon a light installation by accident. We usually stop and take a moment to enjoy. The creations are made by Dutch and international artists expressing their creativity through light art. The festival isn't shy of a critical or political note towards the state of the world. The installation combined the marvel and diversity of light with usually a deeper meaning or story. Next to the darker subjects you can also expect humor and history. Along the route you can also learn about the local stories of Amsterdam. They usually shine a light on the history of a certain spot. Not only the installations differ every year, so do the routes, making every year a unique experience. Special walking routes called light walks are made so you can walk the road in your own pace. During your walk you can listen to the free audio tour on SoundCloud. It sets the mood for the installation including the story behind it. Around the turning of the year it could get cold, so doing the tour by bike could be a smart alternative. Most installations can easily be seen, but sometimes an installation can only be seen from a boat. A popular option then is to buy a ticket for an audio boat tour. This gives you a chance to see the installations up close from the canals. The boats cruise in the evening for the maximum light experience. Some of the artworks get a permanent spot in the city, so you can enjoy them all year round. At this moment, three artworks are on permanent display. 178 bottles, one message, from the third edition is close to the entrance of Station Sloterdijk. The light kite from the fourth edition was designed to bring the feeling of summer into the dark winter. It can be seen on the banks of the Sloterplas Lake. The festival starts at the beginning of December and comes to a close around the end of January. Afterwards the new installations are united with the old by the Light Art Collection. So they can travel as a collection to cities around the world, placing the artists in the spotlight. For more information about this year's festival, visit the official website at AmsterdamLightFestival.com
We conclude this episode with a drink. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you for watching, and we'll leave you with this impression of Amsterdam. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. If you want to see more of Amsterdam, select one of the videos on the left. We appreciate it if you would subscribe and follow us on the socials. Thank you for watching. Until next time.